USA just revealed fully functioning female robots. Robots come in all shapes and sizes. The ones that most closely resemble us, humans, are likely to be the most exciting, attractive, and accepted. Humanoid robots are used for a wide range of purposes, including research and space exploration, personal assistance and caregiving, education and entertainment, search and rescue, manufacturing and maintenance, public relations, and healthcare. Researchers want to give robots the capacity to detect and interpret temperature changes, as well as emotional quotients and other abilities. They are also working on artificial skin to assist robots in grasping touch, temperature change, and other feelings. Japan and China are the two most advanced nations in the realm of robotics. The United States has also entered this industry, generating some pretty interesting robots. Today we shall show some of the robots developed by the United States. First robot in our video is Cassie. Cassie was developed with a $1 million grant from the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, by robotics professor Jonathan Hurst. Since Cassie's debut in 2017, OSU students have been studying machine learning alternatives for the robot in collaboration with artificial intelligence professor Alan Fern, thanks to funding from the National Science Foundation and the DARPA Machine Common Sense Initiative. Cassie, the first bipedal robot to employ machine learning to regulate a running stride on outdoor terrain, completed the 5K course on the Oregon State University campus while disconnected and on a single battery charge. Students at the Osu College of Engineering's Dynamic Robotics Laboratory blended knowledge from biomechanics and current robot control approaches with new machine learning capabilities, said Hurst, who co-founded Agility in 2017. This kind of all-encompassing approach will encourage animal-like levels of performance. It is extremely exciting. Cassie, who has ostrich-like knees, learned to run with the help of a deep reinforcement learning system. Running requires dynamic balancing, or the ability to maintain balance while changing postures or moving, and Cassie has learned to make endlessly tiny modifications to remain upright while running. Cassie is an extremely efficient robot because of how it was conceptualized and built, and we were really able to approach the frontiers of the technology and demonstrate what it can achieve, said Jeremy Dow, a PhD student in the Dynamic Robotics Laboratory. Deep reinforcement learning is a powerful AI technique that enables talents such as running, skipping, and going up and down stairs, said Yesh Godse, a lab undergraduate. Walking robots like vehicles, Hurst thinks, will become widespread in the future. The science and understanding of legged movements have been the limiting limitations. However, research at Oregon State University has allowed for many advances. Atreus, developed by the Dynamic Robots Laboratory, was the first robot to match human walking gait dynamics. Cassie was up next followed by Digit, Agility's humanoid robot. Everyone will see and interact with robots in numerous settings in their daily lives, in the not-too-distant future, Hurst said. Robots that operate alongside humans and enhance our quality of life. According to Hurst, bipedal robots will one day have the intelligence and safety abilities to serve people in their own homes, in addition to logistical tasks like package delivery. Cassie's overall time of 53 minutes 3 seconds included around 6.5 minutes of resets owing to two falls, one due to an overheated computer and the other because the robot was directed to execute a turn at an excessively fast pace. Cassie has mastered the ability of ascending and descending stairs as part of another project. Hurst and colleagues have been asked to make a talk on the topic at the Robotics, Science and Systems Conference, which will be held from July 12th to July 16th. The robot has whole-body dynamic balance and can operate both outdoors and within buildings. Atlas can identify obstacles and negotiate difficult terrain autonomously or by teleoperation. The robot is powered by both electricity and hydraulics. Next, we are going to discuss our next robot, the Nimbus. Navoa Incorporated, a healthcare technology company based in Gilbert, Arizona, today announced the introduction of Nimbus, an automated disinfection robot, in its second version. This latest disinfection technology breakthrough demonstrates Navoas' dedication to creating technology-based solutions that automate disinfection in healthcare for better and more consistent results and outcomes. According to Ernest Cunningham, president of Navoa Incorporated, healthcare facilities around the nation are going above and beyond the current quo by using technology to achieve higher disinfection. Navoa continues to assist the healthcare community by delivering better, smaller, faster, and more efficient automated solutions via the creation of our own products. The primary product of Navoa is Nimbus, a robot that atomizes a hospital-grade EPA-registered disinfectant into a quick, thick fog in an empty room. The disinfectant cleans both the air and the surfaces in the space. 
Nimbus's fast dehumidification method instantly removes any remaining disinfection solution, allowing for speedy room return. The approach is 99.99% effective against bacteria that cause HAIs and is 300 times more effective than manual cleaning alone. It has also been proved that automating the disinfection process may save labor by up to 64%, freeing up EVS staff to concentrate on other tasks. The new Nimbus machine was introduced on June 13th at the annual conference of the Association for Professionals in Infection Control and Epidemiology in Indianapolis. In the aftermath of the new coronavirus, many businesses, hospitals, schools, and other public venues are using disinfection robots to reopen. Several such robots use UV light, but this week, Novoa Life Sciences Holdings Incorporated unveiled Nimbus, a gadget, it says, provides a novel technique to eradicating germs that cause healthcare-associated infections, or HAIs. According to Nevoa, the Nimbus robot was designed specifically for patient rooms. The company declared that it wanted to solve the challenges that healthcare facilities were facing during the COVID-19 pandemic. Nimbus Plus Microburst makes use of a hospital-grade disinfection solution that has been approved by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. The active ingredient is hypochlorous acid. The Nimbus robot and microburst solution, according to Novoa, can disinfect an entire hospital room from ceiling to floor in around 30 minutes. The system is in place, and the vents and door frames have been sealed. Atlas is the last robot on our list, which we're going to discuss in today's video. Atlas hardware saves weight and space by using 3D printing, resulting in a tiny robot with a high strength to weight ratio and a large workspace. Atlas uses stereo vision, range sensing, and other sensors to navigate its environment and negotiate difficult terrain. Atlas can also regain its balance when jostled or pushed, and it can get back up if it falls. Both animals and human experience growth and learning at the same time. You learn to crawl, stand, walk, run, jump, and engage in sports as your body and brain develop. Growing robots, on the other hand, is impossible. Robotics engineers start with a fully constructed robot and must teach it all of the abilities needed to utilize its body properly. Engineers in robotics, like those in many other fields of study, seek methods to avoid completely replicating nature by taking shortcuts, constructing models, and optimizing towards objectives. In the case of Atlas, engineers and scientists at Boston Dynamics believe that adjusting the robot for parkour performance will enable them to achieve all of the complexities of bipedal motor skills. According to a blog post on Boston Dynamics, the capacity of a robot to do a backflip may never be commercially practical, but it doesn't take much imagination or industry knowledge to see why Atlas should be able to do the same spectrum of physical tasks as humans. If robots can one day react to their surroundings with the same agility as the typical adult human, the applications are practically limitless. So the underlying premise is that if you can teach a robot to perform backflips, leap over platforms, vault over obstacles, and run on incredibly narrow roadways, you've taught it all of the other basic movement and physical abilities that all humans possess. Atlas's growth has been nothing short of astounding. Aside from the stunning acrobatics, it exhibits some incredibly intriguing underlying skills, such as regaining balance after a shaky landing. According to Boston Dynamics, the engineers were also able to generalize Atlas's behavior by providing it with a set of template behaviors such as leaping and vaulting and letting it adapt those behaviors to new environments it encounters. With this, I would like to end this video with the hope that you liked and enjoyed it. If you like our content, make sure that you like our video and do share your views and opinions with us in the comment section below. Do subscribe to the channel to receive regular videos from us and don't forget to click the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Until then, peace.